Welcome back to another episode of Fusion Bites. And in this episode, we have some special extra background noise as all my kids are playing around me. So we'll see how well my noise cancellation works. But just a quick reminder, Patreon.com, a great way to support me, to help encourage me to keep making these videos and make them worth my while, is support me on Patreon. The lowest entry level is Coffee a Day, which is only $3.60 a month. I buy cheap coffee at my local grocery store. I did the math and I figured it out $3.60 a month is what it costs me to drink one cup of coffee a day. So that's like pennies a day. All right, so let's get going. And what we're doing in this one is we are going to add passcodes to our sessions. So let's figure out how to do that because I've never done it before. So let's go to our roomless canvas and here our create button. Let's create a new canvas for creating a room. So let's go UI canvas. And we're gonna call this create room canvas. And let's just, uh, let's make all of our stuff a little bit more solid. So let's just solidify that. And then also my session entry prefab, I'm gonna solidify this, just the colors. All right. And so on this create room canvas, we're now going to put a panel on here. All right, and so let's go ahead and make this create room panel. Let's make it solid too. And interesting that the scroll view is sticking through it. What's our roomless canvas sort order? That's weird. Oops, undo. So if we go back to our create room canvas, even though it's the lowest in the hierarchy, I would think it would be in front, but it's not. So I'm just gonna go boink, put a one on sort order, and now we're in the front. And this panel, I am going to alt shift center and then i'm going to make this 400 now let's make it 600 and the height will be 400. there we go so it just kind of pops up and covers the other bit you know i'm actually going to make this fill the uh like that so it covers the other buttons all right so we're going to need a couple things here we're going to need uh two input fields and a button so we're actually since we're already putting in some input fields let's give them the option to um, create a room name. So let's bust that out like that. And on the placeholder, we will call it room name. And then, um, this is gonna be the room name input field. And then we're going to have the passcode input field. All right, so I mean, I could use vertical layout group to help sort these, but I'm just going to do this. And then passcode, let's change the name, the text on that. Passcode entry. I'm just going to put passcode. active boom all right and so this create room button <clears throat> is going to we need new logic for this so let's go into our fusion manager hey our session list header is back and session list is here i'm actually going to create a new header for uh, room creation session creation got to keep the correct vernacular there so here we need to collect the input fields. So we'll do public text mesh pro. Oh, actually, I think it's TMP underscore input field. Hey, I remembered. Um, this is going to be session name input. Oh, I just noticed in the hierarchy, I called it room name. And then um, public TMP input field uh, session 
password input. All right, so let me just come over here and rename this. So session name input field. And then if we go to our Fusion Manager, we have our new session creation header here. And so we can put our session name input field and then our passcode input field. And if we go back to our Fusion Manager, we need a uh, our, where's our create session? Right here. All right, so let's go ahead and create a couple strings here. So let's do uh, a string session name equals session name input dot text. And then we're gonna have string session key equals session, did I just call it session key? What did I call it? Session password input, there it is. And save. So we have those values. Now session name is easy enough um, because now we're not doing randoms. I'm just gonna comment these out in case I wanna reuse them later. And now we have session name is actually going to be a uh, session name. All right, save that. So if we come over to the Fusion documentation, oh no, that's my Patreon page. Okay, if we come over here to the, to the Photon Fusion documentation and I am in the matchmaking API. So this shows you what all you can do in a start game. And what we're gonna be looking to do is have session properties. So um, we this shows you what it should look like. I think what we'll do is we're actually gonna create the dictionary first and then we just set the dictionary value here. Um, so let's go do that. So we're gonna have, let's just go ahead and take a look at the documentation, make sure I do it correctly. So we're gonna have session properties equals, and now we need, we, we need it to equal something. Um, how do I make a dictionary? Um, uh, is it like uh, dictionary? Yeah, like that, and then we're gonna have basically two strings. So string, string, um, and this is going to equal new dictionary. And I think I can just do, can, can I actually put in those values? I've never done it this way. No, I can't, I can't do it that way. All right, so I actually forgot to also name our dictionary. So this is going to be uh, session properties. And so we'll just go ahead and do this like at once, string, string. And then we're gonna do, all right, so now we can just go session properties dot, what is it, add, yep. And then here we just put our two strings. So we're gonna have our, um, actually we need our key, which is our session, <laughs> Ah, uh, I want to, I want, it's, it's, this is a horrible way to do this, but session key is going to be our key. And then our value is going to be the session key variable. And so now assuming I did that all correctly, um, session properties can now equal session properties, comma. It's not liking that because we cannot convert system collection generic dictionary string string to system collection generic dictionary string fusion session property. So what we have to do is it can't be string string. It's got to be string session property and um, session property. So we need to create a new session property. So uh, we need a session property. Uh, 
session, we're going to call it key, equals, and um, I think we just, we can just do session key, right? Can it be a string? Yeah. So now we can just add key here. It's weird that it requires this special property. All right, so we got that. We have the session property, key. So the key to the dictionary is going to be session key. The value is going to be the session property called key. And then when we get the value from that, for example, key dot, um, you can get the property value <laughs> from it. And then we would just get it, tell it that it's a string. We just cast it as a string. Um, that's weird. I didn't realize. So that must mean that they allow you to pass things other than strings as session properties. Otherwise, they would just leave them as strings, right? So, um, yeah, we should now have created it fine. And we have the session properties. So now what we have to do when we attempt to join the session well, first off, before I forget, let's save and let's come back to Unity. And so this create button we've already fixed, right? So this create button is activating this canvas. This create button needs to uh, talk to the Fusion Manager and it needs to call Fusion Connection connect to session. Um, that's not right. Okay, not connect to session, but create session. There it is, okay. So now that create room button will do that. And then also when we create a session, we want to disable the set room canvas, but we also want to disable, did we already set that? We have the room list canvas, which should really be session list, but I'm not gonna change it now and break stuff. But now we need a create room canvas variable. Um, so let's come up here and then here we're going to do public game object create session canvas and then down here on our create session we're going to set our create session canvas set active false And if we come back over here, we should now have a new property that we can fill in. There it is. So now we can get our create room canvas. But it's, let's call it session. This won't break anything. And this needs to be disabled for now. And then the room list canvas should also be disabled. Very good. So that's what we should be seeing. So we've created our session. We've set all our properties. So now when we attempt to connect to a session, we need to take some other steps. So we're gonna be breaking this method up a little bit. And out of laziness, I'm just going to recycle this and we're gonna call this join session canvas. Let's activate it. We aren't don't need to need the room name because we already know the room name. So boink. And then let's just move both of these up, I guess. Oh dang it, I hate it when that happens. Alright, can't move them like that together. And then we're gonna call this the join button. And put join. So that also means that we need to put this join session canvas into as a variable. And we also need this passcode input field as a variable, which means we're also going to put another header so that we can keep um, everything organized. So let's come up here and let's create a new header, session joining. And so we need a public game object join session canvas and then we need a public tmp input field um join session canvas input sure no um sure let's do that why not 
Really? You deleted all of it like that? Okay. Okay. There we go. So we need that good stuff. And before I forget, I'm going to go populate it into the property fields. All right. Here's our session joining section. So here's our join session canvas. And here's our join session input field. And then um, our join button can probably go ahead and go to, uh, oh no, let's switch gears. Let's go to our session entry prefab script. And this needs to know its session name. Um, but we also need to know what our session key is. So this is just going to be a string, though, because we're not going to display it. And so this is going to be our session key. Okay. And while we're thinking about it, let's go to our Fusion Connection. And we're going to go to... Uh, nope, it's up here somewhere. On Session List Updated. When we create each thing, we need to tell the script, the session key, this is going to equal session dot custom, hmm, it's just properties. Okay, session dot properties dot, um, I think it's try get value, get, value yeah try we can get value or default i didn't know get value was an option okay so let's just get value instead of try get value so we'll say get value or default and it's probably going to want the key so this is going to be i forgot what we named the key <laughs> oh what did we name the key um down create session Session key, duh. Session key. And so this is giving us the session property. So now we should be able to get the property value. And rather than casting it in front, I'm gonna see if I can do it as string. Why are you so smart? Again, this is the first time I've ever done this, but I'm pretty sure this will work. So what we've just done is we've, from the session properties, we got our session key, which is a session property, um, session property, there's our key. And then the session key should have the session key as a value of that property, which we're converting to a string, which we're then putting on our session entry prefab in this public string session key. So when we are joining our session, we're going to connect to session, session name dot text we're sending, and we're also going to send the session key. Now our fusion connection um, connect to session method does not have that property, so we're going to add it, string session key, save that. There we go, save that, and here, um, we want to on connect to session, we want to go ahead and, um, up here in session joining, I'm going to have a private string current attempt session key. So we're going to store that session key. When we click the join button on the session entry prefab, we're not really joining the session yet. We're going to create that pop-up that asks for the session key. So we want to tell the Fusion Connection what session key to be looking for. All right, so if we come down here to connect to session, we have the string session key. So uh, what did I just call that? Um, key, um, session key, current attempt session key <laughs> equals session key. Okay, so we know the key that we're looking for. We're disabling the room list canvas. Um, we're going to have a new method 
for public async void finish connecting public async void finish connecting to session and this is going to need a string session name and then now we can take this stuff pull it out of there bring it here this doesn't need to be an async anymore i don't think so we have our current attempt session key we're disabling the roomless canvas but now we need to enable what did we call it enable the join session canvas so join session canvas dot set active true no no we're disabling that canvas here as well assuming actually both of these can happen down here so all we have now when we connect a session is the key all right so i'm confusing myself now let's rewind what's happening here let's disable this so we enter our name we click submit the room list canvas comes up now i think we already have the create session canvas sorted right because if we click create button it's going to activate this we're going to enter the room name and passcode and we're creating that that's fine but when our session list is populated we get our session entry prefab here when we click this join button it should be activating this join session canvas asking for a passcode is that what we're doing on the session entry prefab join button connect to session we know what our session name is we know what our session key is so here on fusion connection oh how am i going to do this now um When we click, we need to activate the join session. We need to activate this passcode. That's what we need to do. We need to activate this screen, which is our join session canvas. So we need to do our join session canvas dot set active. Okay, I was, I was on the right track before. So now we've activated the canvas. And that's all that one's doing. When we click this join button here, oh, let's try this again. My child was talking to me and I might have paused and I didn't want to pause. Um, so when we click this join button, we're calling finish connecting to session, but I don't think we need this. So what we're going to do is we need to store the session name as our uh, another private string current attempt session name all right we come back down here and so we're going to say our current attempt session name is session name so we're not disabling these guys right away um so I'm going to keep those there because we will be. So now what we're going to do is we are going to compare if current attempt session key equals, and what did we call that input field? Equals, uh... current equals join se session canvas input. Okay, join session canvas input. Join session canvas input, because that's where they're typing in the key to attempt to join, dot text. If those equal each other, then we're going to basically do this and the session name equals 
current attempt session name. Else, uh, I just realized we need something else. So we need a back button because what if they don't know the passcode? So let's create a back button. So let's just duplicate that back button. And we're gonna call this back. And let's move it down. And in the Fusion Manager, whoa, wrong scroll. We want to come up here. And on session joining, I'm just gonna do public button, back button. <sighs> and let's just put this close to here. So let's do a public void back to room list or actually deactivate password canvas. I don't know. It could have been named better. And so now I can take, I'm going to disable the join session canvas. So now I'll go back to Unity. Let's look at our Fusion Manager. Grab our back button. Put it there. I didn't need to do that. I'm going to leave it there for now, though. Um, and then here, we're going to look at the Fusion Manager. And go to Fusion Connection. And we want to call Deactivate Password Canvas. And really, we didn't even need to write that method. <laughs> um, let's just... Let's just do this, and then let's say game object uh, set active false. <laughs> just a bunch of unnecessary stuff we didn't need. So let's just delete that. Let's just use Unity's built in to do it. Yeah, we don't need the back button. All right, save. So back over here, um, we need some text. There it is. And let's lock this up to the top. And let's make the width, this, I think it's 500. And then let's center, center, bold it, make it red, and move it down just a bit. Invalid passcode. Invalid passcode text. I'm gonna do that. So on my back button too, I'm also gonna make sure that if this was activated, it gets deactivated in case the panel gets activated again. So game objects set active not. And um, our fusion manager does need to know this. So uh, public game object invalid text. And let's go back to Unity and we will assign that. All right, um, invalid passcode text right there. And we need to go back to finish connecting to session. If all that stuff's good, then great. Else, we're just gonna say invalid text dot set active. True. And I think we're done? No. All right, so let's disact this dis disactivate. Let's deactivate the join session canvas. Let's deactivate the room list canvas, and let's do a build and run. Fingers crossed this works. First build attempt. All right, so let's come over here and let's see if we can even successfully create a room. So create Bob room, and then passcode uh, one two three four. Nice. Create. There we are. Let's come over here, submit. Mm, mm, something's wrong, refresh. Oh, just had a refresh apparently. All right, so we have Bob Room, one of two's there. Let's join it. Oh, we need a passcode. Uh, let's try one, two, three, four, five. Join, dagnabbit, <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> Join session canvas, panel, join button. Did we not tell it to do anything? We didn't. Dag nabbit. So let's fix that.
So what we want our join button to do is yes, go to the Fusion Manager, Fusion Connection. We want to finish connecting to the session. Let's build and run. All right, we're back again. Put in a name, let's create a room, dummy, passcode, ABC123, create. Come over here, editor, submit. That's so weird that it's not trying to populate the first, oh, you know what, we didn't write any code for to populate the first time. <laughs> um, because what we're doing is, um, where's that? On session list updated, we're just capturing it. What we need to do when the uh, panel is first activated is we need to actually refresh the session list. So let's do that real quick. We didn't do that. I wish I had done that in the last episode. Um, so this should just be as simple as... Um, how did we get there? We entered our name. We click submit. Because when we click submit, uh, name entry button, we're, we're calling on name entry, submit name. And then it's calling connect to lobby. That was control click to do that. And so then on connect to lobby, we are uh, joining the session lobby. And then on session list updated, I think what we're just going to do um, is on session list, I'm going to have a private bool first lobby equals false. And so then on session list updated, if first lobby is false then we want to call refresh session list ui and then set first lobby to true that way the first time the session list is updated we populate it and then we won't any other time so let's build and run all right build is complete come over here create a room the room Passcode CVB and M. Am I gonna remember that? <laughs> ABC one two one two three. All right. So we come over here. This is the editor. Submit. Hey, it refreshed this time. <laughs> Let's join. We need a passcode. Will GG work? 